Warning, this episode contains mature themes. Viewer discretion is advised. Episode 4, Shipwrecked. I'm going to head over to the West Wing to work on the roof. Cool. And you will be? I will be staying here while touching and doing absolutely nothing because you don't trust me. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just that... Well, it's just that you're a bit of a trouble magnet. For the last time, it was not my fault that those chickens ended up in Miss Warshall's yard. Yeah, and what about the dam that you and the village children destroyed? Or the time you thought it would be funny to try racing hogs through the woods and trample the crops? You're 18, Rose. You need to stop hanging around the children and grow up and start acting like an adult. <sighs> I've wanted to take you to work with me so you can start getting real-world experience. You're going to be taking over my business someday. I know. It's just everyone always looks at me and whispers. They're so judgmental and I hate it. So what if I think differently? It shouldn't mean I'm treated differently. <sighs> I know, but some folks just don't like different. Now don't get me wrong, kiddo. I love you. And I don't want you to change, but I also don't want to see you get hurt. I'll be back in a few. Ahem. Whoa, hey there, bud. Just who do you think you are? First of all, you're trespassing. And secondly, that's not how you should address me. Well, it's kind of hard to address you correctly when you don't start a conversation off with your name. What? I don't think you- Well, you know, like, hey, who are you? My name's Dragon Guy. What's yours? That kind of thing. Do you have any idea who I am? No, that's kind of the issue we're having here. I am Prince Ember, future ruler of this country and continent. And I'm Rose. I don't rule anything, but I have manners. What is this place anyways? This is the Royal Gardens. It's a special place where the royal family can be in peace and relax. Wait! Why am I talking to you? Didn't you hear me? I'm the prince. Now get out of here before I have you thrown out. I never got why that was so important. Why does being born in a fancy place mean you're better than everyone else? Sure, you can breathe fire, but that's really nothing special considering wizards can use fire magic. <sighs> wizards are rare, so that doesn't- So, can you tell me more about this place? It's really pretty. I swear, if he called us out here for nothing, I'll kill him. I would gladly help. I don't see how you guys are so shocked. That moron probably can't even tell time. I wouldn't be surprised if he has Sebastian Brush's teeth for him with how oblivious he is. Not that he'd know about dental hygiene. Oh. <laughs> wow, you guys are just brutal. Trust me, we're being nice. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Sorry, I got a bit held up. So what's the real reason he's late? 
<sighs> he completely forgot about the meeting. <laughs> of course he did. So, I'm sure you're all wondering why I've called you here today. I have come up with quite a brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. Is no one gonna ask me what it is? Spit it out. We don't have all night. Oh, yeah, you old lady's gotta get a rest. You don't want to keep her up too long. Watch your tongue, child! Don't worry, Captain. If he says anything, I'll just cut his tongue off. Captain, I suggest you get on with your plan before a skirmish unfolds. Right, yeah, yes, whatever. So, I think... We should take down Flint! Are you seriously saying that you dragged me out here at this hour just to spout off this idiotic nonsense? I'll kill him! Isn't that what you try doing all the time? Why did you have to call this meeting just to tell us that? Because I should be at Captain. Not only that, but Flint is just so annoying and he's so depressed all the time. Ever since he lost those two brats, he hasn't thought about anything else. Such a buzzkill. Also, like I said, I should be at Captain, so, you know. I can get behind that reasoning. <sighs> Men. There are laws that need to be followed. If you want the child of Flint, that's fine, but we can't intervene. That is the way it has always been. Ah, old crone stuck on her ways as always. That's it! I have sick crewmates to care for. I won't stay here a moment longer. Especially with children who are barely old enough to drink. Come along, Riley. I'm on Viper's side. We have rules in place for a reason. Challenge Flint yourself and leave us out of it. I know you're just asking because you know for a fact you can't beat him on your own. Don't expect me to show up at your funeral. You know where to find me if you want to have a throwdown. Those stupid rules mean nothing to me. I would not trust Blade if I were you. Seeing as he killed his own vice-captain, I would deem him far too unpredictable. <laughs> oh, Sebastian, your sense of humor never gets old. Blade used to be in my crew, remember? Unlike his, uh, really cool uncle figure. <sighs> right. Oh, this really stinks, though. Well... Back to the drawing board. Onward, Sebastian! <laughs> oh, Captain. How I wish you could just get yourself killed already. So you're sure this is the fastest route? Oh, for sure. Once we get to the docks, we can cross the water and save days of traveling. Our journey would take way longer if we had to use the land bridge. What about the animals that live near the water? Donovan always told me that those areas were infested with pirates. Oh, come on. You're saying you can't handle some pirates? Of course I can. Whoa, hold up. I was kidding. Anyways, it's just a short boat ride. Plus, we've got the hybrid menace on our side. Don't we? <laughs> yeah. And then it's just a few more stops and we'll be at the capital. Right. Also, who's Donovan exactly? Oh, yeah, uh, he's the Iron Death, the bounty hunter that trained me. Mm. About time you woke up, sleepyhead. You've been sleeping for a few hours. Mm. Sorry about that. Not much to do at the moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. he always liked to sleep in, didn't you, lad? <gasps> huh? Always shirking your responsibilities. Like leaving your own family behind. What did we mean to you, Shade? What? How? G guys! Shade. You're... Why'd you leave me behind? You okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm fine. 
It was just the dream. Well, you woke up just in time. We're here. Thanks, Phil. So where are we? Huh? We're at the docks. We're gonna spend the night here and then catch a boat in the morning. But what about the pirates? It'll be fine. And you're paying for the inn. Sorry, I I can't pitch in this time. Um uh, I lost all my money playing cards with your wife. She's really good at cards. You gambled with... Ugh. Yeah, don't worry. I'll pay for it. Let's just be careful. You're all so oblivious, aren't you? Oh, the seagulls migrated again. I really wanted those pancakes. Wanna hear a wee secret? <laughs> I heard something you see. I was walking around late last night and saw them captains holding a meeting. Captain Steel's gonna kill the head captain, woo! I always knew he was stupid, but this is so funnily cool. <laughs> oh no, the seagulls came back and took my toes! What a shame! I needed those. Anyone want to get rid of them? Or do I have to throw somebody out a window? Ugh, my apologies, ma'am. Hey, you look familiar. Have you ever been around here before? Uh, uh, uh no, no. Uh, I've, uh, never been here before. So, you were saying? Right. So, I was saying that there is a way to prove you are Ember's children. You see, a long time ago, a major catastrophe happened and almost the entire royal family was wiped out. Turns out, it was a plot created by King Smoke's sister Cinder. After she supposedly got rid of all the king's children and the king himself, she came forward to take the throne. A servant saddened by the death of her king also came forward saying that Cinder wasn't the true heir because Smoke still had another son, an illegitimate son he had with her. No one knew who to believe until one of the country's top mages created a magical item that could pick up the royal family's fire abilities. Every family member contained these powers whether they could harness it or not, and so the item was used on the child, and sure enough, he was indeed the real heir. And who's to say Chaos didn't wreck it the moment he became king? The item is a treasure that not even the king has access to. It's only ever touched when it needs to be used, which up until now has only been that one time. Even then, only the country's top mage could unlock the safe that it's in. Who's the top mage? I think it was a dragon named Zetra. His name is Zetris, and yes, he is a dragon, as the only ever except dragons is a top mage. Even though there are plenty of other species that can outmagic a dragon, like that new prodigy Merlin who's attending the Institute of Daemon. Oh, yeah, I've heard of him. Youngest to ever make it to his class rank. Yes, he's really impressive. I'd love to hear you ladies gossip, but I'd like to be in bed at a decent hour, thank you. <sighs> yeah, fine. Let's get to our rooms. It's late. You can't keep doing this to yourself. I'm sorry. There's just a lot on my mind right now. It's been nearly three years since we lost them both. They wouldn't want you to ruin your life sitting around moping. You're head captain and you need to be fit enough to lead and make the right choices. I know, but... Sometimes I can't help but just wonder what it would be like if they were both still here. It wouldn't be as quiet, that's for sure. <laughs> At least one of them has a chance. Who knows? Maybe he's out there somewhere. 
If he is, then why hasn't he come back? Why would he leave? Knowing how much it would hurt us. How much it would hurt... me. Oi, Archie, your pants boiling over. Some chef you are nearly letting the whole ship burn down. <laughs> Boy, would that be a sight to see. Had Captain Flint's crew taken down by a rusty pot and iron pit. <laughs> Sorry, anywho, what are you two up to? Oh, uh, don't mind me then. Just a single ass who's waiting for her dinner. I'll be below deck. Sounds like I'm needed below deck. Better hurry up then, before she tries eating some of the silverware. I'll be in in a minute, don't worry. Al said you play at the table then. Don't be long or your food will get cold. What do you think about Steele's behavior lately? What's there to say? He's as reckless as ever. Although... Maybe a bit more reckless than usual. Maybe the anniversary of Hydra's death is getting to him. That's soon, ain't it? Yeah, maybe we should step up water patrols to keep an eye on him. Make sure he's not up to anything shifty. Good idea. You're meeting with Flint tomorrow at the docks, right? You can let him know about the patrols then. Right. Why don't we just ask for a ride? What? Are you crazy? Asking a pirate for a ride is like asking a mercenary for money. It's stupid, crazy, and downright suicide. I gotta agree with Shade on this one. But I think we should have as little contact with pirates as possible. Okay, so what do you suggest then? Hmm... Oh! Over there! E excuse me, uh, Pete. Uh, me and my companions need a boat, and we're wondering if we could buy yours. Have I seen you before? Uh, so, about the boat... I'm sorry, but my boat is in pride and joy. Fishing is my only form of income. I'd never survive. Sir, please consider. I'm sure we can offer something in return. Oi. Oi. Coins. Will this be enough? Oi. Oi. I can't accept this. That's just way too generous. Take it. Thank you. Please take care of my ship. She's been good to me all these years. Let's go off to a new life, Theodore. Well, we now have a boat, so onward we go. So, we thought that it would be a good idea to step up water patrols. Right, good idea. No one's still, he's planning something. Remember last year and his attempt to set fire to my ship? <laughs> on his face when I hopped right from the mast onto his head. Didn't even manage to spot before I knocked him into the icy water. I was all like, watch out, and he never saw it coming. Nobody ever sees Vixen coming, that's a straight fact, you know that. <laughs> Maybe I should have made sure he kicked the bucket so he wouldn't have to deal with him anymore. You know the rules, Vixen. He didn't actually set the fire, so we technically weren't attacked. You can't kill other pirates unless your crew is attacked or challenged. Ugh, these rules are so bloody stupid. I should be able to do whatever the hell I want. Huh. I wonder what Pete's doing off so early this morning. Hey Pete, what are you up to? Captain Jay. That's Captain Flint. A nice stranger bought me boat this morning. He gave me enough money to retire and start me dream turtle sanctuary. That must have been a lot of money. Aye. Very kind-hearted fellow. He said he and his companions needed the boats across the water. Although, could have sworn I've seen him round here before. Big sturdy lad with black fur and grey spots. 
Uh, any other details you can recall? He had purple eyes. The female companion looked just like him, so I assume they are related. Oh, and he was a hybrid. Crazy, right? A cat dragon is so unheard of, but here we are. Anywho, I best be off. Well, let's go then. You have meetings today, Flint. But it's him. Who else could it be? It could be a coincidence. Who knows? Maybe there wasn't even anybody there, and he was just remembering him. We both know how much Pete loves to drink. <sighs> Fine. Find this rich cat and bring him to me. He's probably trying to find my ship, but doesn't know I'm head captain now. <laughs> even if he's just some crazy jabber, it doesn't hurt to look. Yes, said Captain. I think he's losing his marbles. He lost them a long time ago. Now come on, the sooner we get this done with, the sooner we can go back to the ship for dinner. Okay, so I'll, I'll just... Oh, oh my god, uh, sorry, um, maybe if I do it like this? Whoa! The pirates will be the least of your worries if you do that again. Sorry. Here, let me take the wheel. You can keep lookout or something. Uh, is that another ship? What? Yeah, I think it is. Crew, keep an eye out. There's a ship up ahead. Is that Pete's old boat? It seems like it is. They're firing at us! Wait, that's a fishing boat. It has no cannons. Look! What the heck was that? Cannon fire! Everybody get down! It's not coming from that boat. It's coming from the other direction. Steel. Open fire. What about the animals on Pete's boat? It's between our ship and theirs. They should have known the dangers before they entered the waters. I said fire. Should we just fly out of here? Ugh. We don't have any weapons. They would shoot us out of the skies. Then what do we do? Simon! Sky! No! No, no, no! Ugh. Search the water for survivors. Captain! That's... So he really has come back. Bring him up. We'll take him to Flint. <laughs> yes! Yes, look at the scribes of <laughs> This is just the big meal I needed. You're wasting a lot of ammunition on that pathetic boat, Captain. Ah, oh, Sebastian! I need to relieve my stress if I want to feed my genius brain. I hope those bullets fly into your genius brain. Captain, it looks like Jay has found something in the water. Oh? <laughs> well, 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 if it ain't little shade all grown up. Hmm? Oh, what is this? Oh, look at the resemblance, Sebastian! <laughs> we might have just gotten ourselves some lemorage. <sighs> it's pronounced leverage, Captain. That's what I said. I pull them up. We've got ourselves a new prisoner. <laughs> of course, Captain. <laughs>